Hey, happy February, Aquarius. I'm getting a different energy for you than I did the other signs I previously led for February. May it leave us light and love for you moving into the month of February. May Aquarius know their value, their worth. I'm seeing energy. I'm seeing rejuvenation. Um, I saw hiking. I saw waking like a bear that's been hibernating for months that's finally coming into their power and fruition. So we're going to go ahead and ring the bell, clear your energies, welcome you into my space, Outdoor Healing 1111. If you've never been here, like, share, and subscribe. I hope you come back. I hope you share the page and channel with everyone else. I have this beautiful tapestry underneath, which Samantha is coming in as one of my advertisers, and she's going to market her merchandise. But the eyes have been open to the soul. I love her work. Uh, it's expensive. Not. It's elegant. It's efficient, affordable, and her tapestry is beautiful. Let it come into your home. Let it come into love and light. Let us energize. Let's welcome the Aquarius to the reading for February. Love and light. I was drawn to flutes for peace, calmness, rejuvenating our soul. Welcome in. Welcome into my space. I've already mainly cleared and cleansed the decks, but I want to go ahead real quick and um, sage the decks again because energy does change when I do a reading. It definitely changes. I'm getting the sense of a past life here. I'm getting a sense of ancestors, fire, Indians. So whatever and whomever is watching this from Aquarius was one of my air signs. Welcome in. Love and light. Just clear the cards real quick. Clear the energy of lavender on. My new business cards came out. I'm going to be doing a lot of more yoga studios. Working on the chakras, clearing out the energy for my, my team and for my Aquarius watchers. May love and light come in on this day. Um, let's see. Let's pull a mermaid card first. Let's get a, a, an overall generalization of where my Aquarius is going for the month of February. Show me spirit guides. Clear and cleanse the deck. Where you would like to take this reading. Powerful reading that it may be. Different energy for Aquarius. I have energy. They're being awakened from their bear spirit. Uh, and being introduced into a new realm. Energized. Friendships, total alignment. Where do you see this going, Spirit? Give me a card for Aquarius. For Leave the reading with the card. Leave the reading with the card, Spirit. Innocence. Okay, I'm sensing brand new love. Brand new opportunity. A weekend, right? Biblically, they're in slumber, standing straight. Beautiful. Cleansed. Refreshed. Strong. Awakened embracing it new energy new spirit it's beautiful sensing a woman there has found some uh, clarity in her life letting go of a divorce letting go of all the things that doesn't serve them letting the colors around them really guide them intuitively understanding their beauty i have a little bit of their heart mixed with their throat chakra Speaking, feeling their heart, really feeling innocent, really doing the work, really clarifying what happened to them in the past. And then let's get into the power of the archangels. These are tarot cards. They give us a little, you know, insight to what's going to happen in the next month. And then I'm going to do some tarot. I'm going to do some moonology. Um, Eight of Ariel with communication coming in to an Aries. Aquarius, you got something to say to someone? You're reading up on it, maybe about love. A little nudge from your spirit guides. That's the past. Let's do the present. Present. Come on, spirit. Come on. Aquarius, come on. Give me something. What's in the present? What's your present energy? Perspective. Twelve, eight and twelve make twenty. Into two is two tens, closing out two cycles. One in passion, one in air. Wow, it's the first time I had somebody coming out of air. 
and the moon in reverse, 18. So February 12th through 18th, you're really going to speak up about how you feel, how you see things, getting some clarification in your life. Um, take pride in your great, excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional educational training here. We have your perspective that there's a better way. Pause for reflection, insight, dare to be different, and the opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, and face your fears and grow stronger. So I have a raccoon and a dog. I have someone, the hangman, upside down. You're seeing things different. Uh, so your spirit guides this month are Haniel, the archangel of the moon, which I have Pisces energy. And I have the hangman, which I have here, and upside down is illuminated. You know, maybe you're in the circus. Uh, maybe you've been living in a circus, meaning that maybe you're in trapeze. Maybe the arts are something that you perform, but you're mastering something here. You're, you're really reading about it. I never really get this energy from the cards, so whoever this Aquarius is that's watching, you're different. You've always been a little different. You've always been surrounded by books, hierarchy. I've also seen your angels and guides are here with a feather. They are pushing you through a life passion. Maybe you're giving up education in the boardroom um, to go ahead and become a performer, right? And it's in the darkness, so something happens at night. This gift that you love, which your heart chakra is on, is about uh, a passion you have. And this angel is the same one, still pushing you, never left your side. Maybe a loved one who has passed on, maybe a woman you were supposed to marry. She hasn't left you, right? She's looking back when I flip it up to help you, support you in anything that you want. But right now, she is pushing you forward, right? She's illuminating in the nighttime. So at night, you're going to have dreams about your new perspective and a new occupation you're going to take on. So between the 12th and the 18th, you're really, really speaking. You're speaking up. Um, you're seeing some clarity. You're seeing your angel around you. You're seeing feathers. You're seeing signs. You're getting the information you need in books. And crystals, clarification, maybe you're going to someone in regards to a reading. But you're definitely doing yoga and healing to manifest this new beginning. Someone you love, you're letting them go. And really moving forward in your life. Uh, let's see, what do I want to read next? Okay, let's use this deck. Aquarius, this is your reading. Welcome to your reading. It's Outdoor Healing 1111. Like, share, and subscribe if you like my channel. Oh, past. Yep. Present. Future. Bonus card. I'm going to pull these away. So these are all in the past, right? Even though you're moving into the future, you're still having self-doubt. The lover. So someone has passed away. Someone you love. A wife. It's been a hard road. You've manifested so many dreams along the journey here, Aquarius. You're holding down the fort now in your passions, right? You're really, really in this space. You're looking back on passions you have with someone you loved. I really sense that someone passed away and I'm really sorry for your loss. And it is in regards to someone you loved or you can feel them in your sleep, a past love. The twin flame journey is a devastating one for you. It's hard. You're having a hard time letting go. I feel sad all of a sudden. This is the person you think about. That's a lover, maybe a lifetime lover. Oh my God, I'm really sad. But they were taken too soon. Maybe they were taken in May of last year during COVID and you didn't get to say goodbye. I'm getting that energy. Getting the energy that they're now moving it into the middle. They want you to really, since it hasn't been done yet, you're getting a brand new beginning in the future. Cutting it out. Spirit is giving you your angel. Oh my God, my head hurts so bad. You've been in so much pain. This person maybe died of COVID. But they're coming in and you're gonna get a message from your spirit guides. The clouds are being lifted. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you showed up in your own reading. It was in reverse. So you're getting ready to cut things out that don't serve you any longer. I have stagnant energy on the 18th. Is, something is going to be illuminated to you on the 18th, Spirit said. Your angel's going to come in and guide you. This is your loved one. They're sending you messages of hope and aspirations to turn things around for you. They have now have you looking back at the past on all the... Um, seeds that you've planted. They're letting you have love again and they're gifting you this. They want you not to be alone. Clarify the past and that has to be the lovers even though spirit move the cards out of and they don't normally do that from the past energy to the present. Clarify the nine of wands here. Clarify the nine of wands in the past which was in the present energy. Um, but it looks like they're gifting you this and it looks like you're going to take this offer. 
Yep, a new beginning. It's coming in. They move the cards from the two positions in the past and the present to a new beginning. You're manifesting a new beginning. Yep, celebrations coming in around October. And an opportunity of love. So this person who was passed on, maybe a mother, maybe a lover, back in May of last year during COVID, is okay. They've made it to their stomping ground, yep. And they let you become the king of pentacles. There was money left behind um, in a life insurance policy. Um, that you're uncertain. Some people got hurt during this because you were the one they chosen for the um, their life insurance and their valuables. And there has been a lot of people walking away out of your life and they're walking out for your purpose, right? They're letting you see that. When you look back on the times, the person who passed knew they had sneaky energy. There was two people here. Maybe there's three of you. Maybe it's family. Two other people got their feelings hurt. But you love this person with all your heart. And all they did was take, take, take because they want to do, do, do now to prove to you that they had a better heart. And they didn't. The celebration was is that you're seeing them clearly. You're cutting out what no longer serves you. Spirit has gifted you. I have Taurus Virgo Capricorn here is the person uh, that's in regards to the Aquarius. Maybe you're in a relationship now. Or maybe this is a relationship with your person who passed. Uh, opportunity of love is coming in, um, closing out that cycle from the past in regards to the person who passed. All the documents have been signed, but it is old school money. Someone has left you quite a bit of money. And now you're looking back at the money and trying to figure out what you should do diligently. Do you start a new endeavor? Do you start your own business? Do you continue to work on the money that you have? You have three, four, five, six. Six already stacked, so up until May, you're good. June, you're building something new. And in July, something comes up behind you new in regards to this business opportunity. Yep. Maybe you're intuitive. You're going through an awakening and purging. You're starting a brand new cycle of your life. You're highly intuitive and you're getting the messages that are being downloaded from Spirit now in regards to your person. The Ten of Cups is what they are gifting you, which is beautiful. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Aquarius, you're now becoming the king, looking back at your person. You are in your heart space. You know now that you, you have the money, you have the means, you have the drive, you have love, you have it all. This person left you in a good financial situation, not because, you know, they wanted to be vindicted to anybody else, but in this particular situation, they want you to know that they knew that you would do what was right with their money. You have slow energy moving forward in love, but it's coming in. You're going to trust your heart again. You're going to travel far. Or the person who has always loved you is going to come in and share this with you. This is the gift. To get to the Ten of Cups, you're coming out of this slow energy. All of a sudden, I feel drained. And you're moving into abundance. What's going on in love here, Aquarius? You know, a lot of things, new creative endeavors. You're going to have the money in which to do it. And, you know... It's all for you. Yep, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying things in the moment fully. One more spirit said, the attraction goes to what? Show me spirit for Aquarius for February. What is the attraction here? Come on, you want anything to come out here, spirit? Come on, spirit. I don't want to move today. Okay. Finances and career. So you're going to meet them in business. It's coming in slowly. But you're attracted to someone from a distance. You're watching them. Financial issues are a factor in your love right now. So you're working on trying to get this money situated. You really don't see this person clearly, but they've always been by your side. And victory is going to come in around October. Slow energy for you guys to build this relationship into its full entity. But it is coming in. What is the moon saying in regards to your abundance and finances? Work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. So work through your fears from your abandonment issues from the past, from this person leaving you. They didn't leave you because they wanted to. They left you because God needed them to come home. It's time for them to go. Step out of your comfort zone, the north node, right? Making a wish on a star, intuitively speaking, and prosperity lies ahead, new moon in Taurus. So your money definitely is coming into fruition around May. You step out of your comfort zone to share with this person that you care about them after trying to clarify and get through your work fears. So building this new endeavor, you've kind of maneuvered yourself in and out of relationships to get past the insecurities. But once you get past the insecurities, you're good. 
give me a card that for February that Aquarius needs to work on here, Spirit. What is the card? I am two. Grief, yes, someone definitely did pass away here. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So you have your orange, your sacral chakra, you're feeling it now. You're finally feeling it in February, they're lost. You're feeling them around you, the wings of love. And adversity comes in. I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. So overcoming this, you learn how to speak the truth. I do understand that this was left to me for the better good and I'm going to do what's best for this person and honor them. Spiritually, they're coming in to share that with you. They were highly intuitive. They knew that you would live out their life purpose. It's the innocence of trusting yourself to do what's right when no one else is watching is what I heard. It's your perspective on life. It's how this money is going to change your life spiritually, not financially, because there's a lot of it. Finance and careers are your goals. Your love partner will come in and share that with you, but it'll be the right person for you, very humble. This person is watching over you. Could be someone who died, like I said, your wife during COVID, um, someone you were gonna be proposed to or engaged to, but someone that really had a huge impact on your life, or like I said, a mother or a grandmother, but I have very strong feminine energy here. Or maybe your mother had pushed you as a young child to do something else in life. And she knew when she passed because of the financial endeavors that she'd be able to help push you into the next direction for your life. The horse, freedom to move, it's time to move. Maybe you guys enjoyed horses together, but you're getting clarity now. Your spirit guide is an owl, they're watching out for you. You're getting movement, which is passion, which is the fire side of this element. And then we have watching. Aquarius like to watch, they're good listeners. You're getting clarity on what the money is need to be used for, but because your innocent nature and the moon and the secrets are coming to play from the people who tried to get this money from you, it's funny how this, my mom gifted me this, so maybe this is your mother. I'm sensing they were born on the 18th. They're taking you through the dark night of the soul. It's so funny how the moon matches there. And they're showing you here clearly how much they loved you and how much that this money is gonna make a difference in your life and so many other lives. Maybe a charity you're opening in their name, but this is special kind of energy. This is I see now, I see the value and the worth of who I am. I see the beauty of the innocence of this person who passed. I see how they trusted me. I see that they wanna make all my dreams come true. This is a beautiful reading, especially if someone passed away. Again, like I said, I'm sorry for your loss. Let's see what your spirit angels are gifting you with um, your spirit unicorn card here. Spirit, what do you have to say here for my innocent person here, the Aquarius watchers that I have? Because I read for millions of people, people watching on Instagram, YouTube, the whole nine yards. Um, thank you, like, share, and subscribe, Outdoor Healing 1111. And they're giving you the strength, which I see August 18th. This challenge will make you stronger. You will get through to the other side. Look for the gift in this situation. And cycles, repeated cycles. The moon is here again, right? Transformation. We had the blue moon in October and November, and it really pushed things back. But you're looking past the cycles of your life. There's been transformation here. Everything has its right time. Honor the cycles of your body. Tune into the moon's magic. So it's all about the moon and how it's going to affect you this year. Do not sign any contracts soon. We're going into retrograde. But three, three moons are all, are, I'm sorry, three planets are in February in, in the entire month, which is going to cause a lot of different cycles to start, especially since we're in Aquarius season. Abundance is coming for most females. If you have Aquarius moon, this is the year to rise. You're going to really shine in your element. It's been a long time coming, but it's coming. Uh, let me get some of these. Clarification on your abundance that's coming in. And then a clarifier card. And then I wish you guys, whoa, okay. Community. Community projects. Yep, you're going to do something for the community. Community and holding down the fort. You're going to give back to the local community some money to get them up and running again. I see an old and Italian family, and maybe you were an only child here. And, um... They definitely have gifted you. I see a hula hoop. The circus. I keep seeing the circus. And then a marriage. This person that you are. <sighs> it could have been the one who passed away. 
and they are pushing forward your contract with your original love. So we can have more than one soulmate, a twin flame in this life. It's how you see it. It's your perspective on things. Um, perspective. Twelfth. Whatever the twelfth means to you in regards to this female. Maybe it was December. Maybe it was the twelfth day of the month. Maybe it's the third day of the twelfth month you got married. Or the third month, twelfth day, or the twelfth month, third day. But something's ironic here. Or it could be the wedding date that's in the future. But something with 12 and 3 is important here. It's either December marriage and commitment. Maybe you're both in the circus or maybe you're in the entertainment business. But this is old acquainted souls. This is your third life cycle. You have 2 and 1 is 3 and 3. Yep, 3 and 3 marrying each other. Changing your perspective on someone that you loved. There's a better way. Pause for reflection. Insight. Dare to be different. Step out of your comfort zone. This person has really gifted you with the opportunity of a lifetime. Let's get one last card. This was a beautiful read here, Aquarius. I don't normally get a lot of energy from you guys, but I am honored to do your reading for February. And, you know, this is this has been an unusual reading for me. And it's kind of different stepping out of the comfort zone here. But I am sorry for your loss. But this person has really left you an abundant life. And please use the money wisely. Uh, and share with others your gifts and make other people happy is what they said. The only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. That's from your loved one who's passed. The only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. Namaste. Outdoor Healing 1111, I am doing private readings. So a wonderful February Aquarius. It's my, been my honor. And may they rest in peace.